Hello, 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 my wonderful people. How are you all today? I'm Claire, this is Purple Poppy, and I've jumped on to do the next part of the Easy Two Signature Journal. This will be part three, and I hadn't actually initially intended to do this part, but this has come about from a number of questions that or comments that were made on yesterday's video. So, one of the questions was, how do you sew your pages in so that the strings are on the outside rather than in the center, so they're on the outside so that you can put beads and things on? Well, what I've done is I've taken this cover and I've put my six holes in ready to put my three hole pamphlet stitch signatures in. I'm not going to put signatures in. I'm just going to talk about putting the strings on the outside for the beads. Now, I wasn't 100% sure from the comment whether you meant that you wanted to put the beads between the holes so you had strings of beads, or if you actually wanted the strings on the outside. So the first thing I'm going to talk to you about is doing the strings of beads. So if you've come out from your inside, let's just assume that we do have, a, you know, signatures in there. All you would do now, now I've only bought four beads, so it's probably not enough, but you would just put your beads on, okay? onto your string you will need to make sure that they are beads that have relatively large holes in them if they're the tiny seed type beads you won't be able to get the needle and thread through so that won't work okay if you're using you know this thick waxed type um, thread okay so, as I say, I've only bought four, so I've only put four on. You would probably need about seven to complete it. But then you would just go through, as normal, and find your, your signature hole. And there you have, oops, make sure we don't put it out. There you have your beads between your holes. And as I say, you could fill that right up by putting probably another three beads on and then if you wanted to do the same on the bottom and on the other side you would do exactly the same or you might choose just to do the opposites so that's how you would deal with it in that respect but if you meant putting <clears throat> the long end strings on the outside well, the only difference is, because we always finish where we start, instead of starting inside your signature and going outwards, you would start outwards and come in. Because then when you finish sewing, your end string is on the outside. So it's just simply a case of working in reverse. So obviously you've come through your signature and then you go back out of the oh, wrong side. It would help if I used the right side. Back out of the top. Okay. And then you'd go all the way down to the end. Come back through your signature. The only difference being that obviously normally this is on the inside. And then you go back through your hole. Making sure, as always... That you don't stitch split your thread you know you don't want to stitch through that and then obviously you go underneath exactly the same tie it tight tie your knots and then your dangle strings are on the outside and then obviously you can put your beads on okay decide how long you want your dangle string and then just tie a sufficiently large knot to make sure the bead can't come off Okay, so that I hope has answered that question. Let's get rid of that. Now the other question were about the various types of closures. 
So probably the most frequently used would be this one. And this is where you punch a hole, you put your, this is um, twine, but you would put whatever through. I'm using twine because this has got quite a rustic feel to it, this cover, and the twine is rustic. So I've put it through, I've done a double knot to tie it, and I've put a little bit of glue on top as well to make sure that that holds in place. And then I've done exactly the same on the back cover. And then obviously, when you have sewn your signatures in, it will just tie and that will hold it closed like so, yeah? So that's that one. And obviously I've used the twine, but you could use any lace or ribbon or even torn fabric that fits well with the cover design that you've got. If you're at the beginning stage of your junk journaling and you haven't got tools, you know, to close the rings up, um, the grommets to, you know, bed them home and you haven't got hole punches and things, so you can't do this probably the simplest way of all is to take some thin ribbon or this is a seam binding okay and as you can see i've got quite a long bit now i always like to make sure that my tie stays with my journal i don't like it when people just put a ribbon round because once you untie it, it comes disjointed and you can easily lose it. Just personal choice, you know, I'm not saying you're, anybody's wrong for doing that. So the way that I would do this is I very simply take my big needle, okay? And it is a little bit fiddly, but you can poke your ribbon through. I'm not gonna waste lots of your time trying to do it but you can push your ribbon through pull it and then you're using it as a sewing thread okay and i go in from the outside to the pre-made signature holes across and back through as if you were doing a button okay so then it's you know pull your needle off and you've got your two ends now the one thing you need to make sure is that your front cover end is shorter than your back cover end you see the back cover end is almost three times and the reason for that is because when we close it up we go round generally and then we do it up so the front is just making the bow where the front thread or ribbon is only making the bow, whereas the back one has been wrapped all the way around. So that is probably the simplest way of all. Um, and then obviously, because that's gone through your signature holes, you just si stitch your signature as normal, and then that is doubly holding that in place. Just make sure you know where they are when you're pulling your threads in and out. So that's really really simple one doesn't take any specialist tools or anything but it works beautifully well and because you've got such a long back that wraps all the way round as this journal grows you cannot wrap it round and you'll still have enough to tie a big floppy bow on it uh, this is coffee dyed seam binding. I always buy the white and then dye it whatever colour I want. And the reason I've chosen this on this particular cover is because I've already used it in the tag. So it ties in. Okay. And then on the one that we actually sewed the signatures into the other day, I've chosen to do one of these like policy holder Um I've just got to work yeah I've chosen to do one of these policy holder things so all I did there is I've cut a one inch circle punch okay made sure it's nice and thick and solid so I used a piece of leftover footboard and then just a piece of patterned paper I glued the two together 
inked all the edges and then again I've punched a hole through and I've put a grommet in and then the cords that wrap around it there you go the cords that wrap around it which hold the journal closed are actually through holes in the back okay so you can you know move it around I just pumped through I've threaded it through and then I've done a big knot to make sure that if it comes all the way to the end it's not going to come out okay I mean you could well, it's not quite long enough but if you did it a bit longer you could bring that loop all the way over and hook it on there but obviously I didn't do it that way I did it this way and um, part of the reason I chose to do this one in the baker's twine is because it just reminded me of a you know a parcel wrapped up in paper and string so you just wrap them around there and then it's not going anywhere okay it's nice and secure and shut there are other ways in which you can do another spine which you attach to the back <clears throat> and then you do another spine or a flap and that would come all the way over and then you could tie it around but that's then moving much more into the realms of the file bag that I did because you end up with your front cover your actual spine and your back cover and then you've got your depth spine and then you've got your front cover plate so there's lots more pieces and things involved in that so that's one way of doing it the other way if you want that type is to obviously consider using something like amazon packaging but then that's coming away from this whole um project that we're doing of the way that we adjoin our cover to the rest of our journal okay so i hope that's helped you so we've got the policy string tie we've got the lace or ribbon that i'll just move that up so you can see better that's through the signature holes a bit like a button and then just a lovely bow or we've got the grommets and the holes and the string which obviously could be lace or whatever so there's just three completely different ways for you to consider closing and of course this was the where i showed you to do the strings from the outside in rather than the inside out because the other thing of course is that you could put a bead on each let's see if i can get the thread just through can i yep you could put a bead on each and then you could tie a knot tie your knots there i mean obviously you've already done your secure knots for your signatures and then you could just do a big bow and leave your strings hanging like that and you've just got you know a double bead underneath there so i hope that's answered the questions that you put into the comment section on yesterday's video as always thank you so much for joining me please always put your comments a i love reading them and if i can answer your questions obviously i will stay safe be happy i'll see you again soon Bye for now.